Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you a very cool research project which not only offers us insights into retrieval but also shows us that how easy it has become to do retrieval and information retrieval in specific when it comes to RAG pipelines that much easier. This project which is called a Spy Terrier has sprouted from another project called as Terrier. Terrier is a highly flexible, efficient and effective open source search engine which is readily deployable on large scale collections of documents. Terrier implements state-of-the-art indexing and retrieval functionalities and provides an ideal platform for the rapid development and evaluation of large scale retrieval applications. It is open source, quite comprehensive, flexible and transparent platform for research and experimentation in text retrievals. Research can easily be carried out on standard track and CLEF test collections. So if you're just starting out in your journey of information retrieval with the help of large language models, especially in the context of RAG pipeline, I am more than sure you are going to like this by Terrier. So in this video, we are not only going to install it, but we will be using an end-to-end -end Google Colab notebook where you can also play around with it. So let me take you to my Google Colab, which is a free resource from Google. And you can also get it from colab.research.google.com, no GPU needed. And we will be just using it in this Colab notebook. So first step is to install this Py Terrier, which is a simple pip command where I'm installing it in the quiet mode. So let's wait for it to get created. And as part of this installation, it is also creating a lot of other stuff because Py Terrier is a as I said, declarative platform for information retrieval experiments in Python. It uses the Java-based Terrier information retrieval platform internally to support indexing and retrieval operations. So if you're, instead of Google Colab, if you're running it locally, then I would highly recommend you that you first install the latest version of Java and set your Java home in the environment so that it should be able to find it. Also, if you are not aware of what information retrieval and RAG is, RAG is simply retrieval augmented generation, which provides more grounded context to large language of models. So you can see that PyTerrier is installed. Let's import it and it is also going to import some Java stuff if it is not available already. It is available in my environment, so it hasn't done it. And then we can get some sort of data set. I'm just going to get the data set which is provided in their repo. And this is a very old, very time tested data set or IR test collection, Maswani NPL that is done. And then let's also grab an index for that data. So you see, whenever we have our own data, we convert it into numerical representation. And then we also have to create an index for faster retrieval. And the concept is same as we have in the databases. So you see it is downloading the data. It is going to create an index. It's a very lightweight one, so it shouldn't take too long. It is doing the checksum and everything. So you see it couldn't find the Java, so it, it has downloaded it and the jar file, and that is all done. It is also telling you how many number of documents in that data set how many posting fields and number of tokens. And then we can set up the retrieval. For example, we just want to parse a topics file from that data set. For that, this is the easiest command. It is just using the track file. Okay, so it says that it couldn't find the Java here. No, sorry, it is saying that the track file does not exist. So let me quickly grab that file. And the track file is readily available from this nist.gov for research purposes. And once you run it, you can see that it has now given me the queries and also their query ID in a nice fine format. And then you can optionally, if you like, you can set the controls and properties by passing a dictionary to the controls and properties arguments or by calling set control or set control methods on a created object or you can use the default controls if you like. 
and this is the example and then you can call the transform method on the created object with the topics as an argument and then you can even print it out if you like so for example if you print it there you go how good is that so it is giving you the rank and score so whatever is similar will be uh, having a higher score and then so on and so forth this is you can also use it as a re-ranking uh, methodology in your rank pipeline you can also search with a simple string something like this which is going to give you only one which is related to that string and then again the score the higher the score it will be closer to what we are looking for if you like you can save the results to a file you can also do evaluations on it with a local test collection and there are a lot of other things which you can do with this pi terrier and just to give you a glimpse of that evaluation so you see that i'm just getting these QRLs from just for the evaluation purposes and this is again from that old vaswani data set and it provides these QRLs ready to do that is done and then next you can simply use the evaluate function to evaluate the results which will which you can use to um, select the evaluation matrices or for per query or you can show the mean of the matrix or the matrix for each query there you go and then you can also do it for per query result for something like this and it is giving you all the information about that per query in a proper dictionary format so <clears throat> the idea here is that if you have a re-ranking pipeline embedded into a red pipeline you can make it more performant so this just gives you a starting point into the pi terrier if you are really into this information retrieval and all that it also supports point wise ranking and list wise ranking both of these point wise and list wise rankings strategies are used in this information retrieval recommendation systems point wise ranking uh, in the point wise ranking each item which could be a document or query result is scored independently based on its relevance to the query whereas in the list wise ranking the entire list of items is considered as a whole and the goal is to optimize the ranking of entire list so depending upon your use case what sort of information you are feeding into your rack pipeline you can use pi terrier just as a re-ranking methodology just to improve the performance because if you have used any rack pipeline in any production environment you would know that introducing re-ranking in your rack pipeline just brings a lot of quality so i would highly encourage you that if you have a production rack pipeline you are struggling with the quality of it then maybe give pi terrier a look to see if it can help that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what you think i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.